financial provisions and rehabilitation funds in place, yet thousands of unsealed non-operational mines still exist, a number one cause of illegal mining. The discovery of 20 bodies alleged to be of illegal miners in Orkney, northwest, further highlighting mine rehabilitation legislations that aren't adhered to. We have about 2,000 abandoned, derelict and ownerless mines in this country. Despite the fact that the, that the, um, the Minerals and Petroleum Resource Development Act uh, is very, very clear about mine closure. Mining companies have previously sealed abandoned mine shafts, but this proved to be a futile exercise as illegal miners merely open the shafts again. Different solutions are now put on the table, which could be costly and time-consuming. After they've sealed off, the illegal miners will break off the seals. So what uh, we've encouraged them to do is to is to fill uh, those shafts, which they've started the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the process of actually doing that. Meanwhile, mining companies attest to knowing their responsibilities in rehabilitating but says the bureaucratic processes are slowing them down. It is quite difficult getting the DMRE to issue closure certificates, which would then allow us to close the mines and rehabilitate using the funds that we've set aside. These delays have caused illegal miners to move into mines with a detrimental effect on the surrounding communities. Deborah Pagedi, SABC News, Mahigang.